So the ego is not who you are. So just to be really clear about this, you know your ever-present mental chatter and voice in your head that has a mental running commentary, that is the voice of the ego. Now, what you could try as an experiment for just one day is not pay attention to it and instead have your awareness in your body because your body is constantly communicating to you a deeper level of truth. And it communicates that through feeling contracted and expanded. If your body wants you to do something that's in alignment with your highest interest, you'll get a felt sense of rightness. It will just feel right in your body, regardless of what the head says. So the first thing is voice in your head, period. You're just not. It's, an, it's a survival-focused mental construct that originates from primitive and acquired conditioning that creates the illusion of a separate sense of self. Now, you can run a self-diagnostic scan to work out whether you live from within your ego. If you feel separate from life and other people and you habitually judge what you see and yourself and you live with a sense of me and not me, that means you perceive life through the ego, which you are not. Now, the really good news is there is a deeper, more expansive dimension available to you whenever you want. So I'm going to teach you how to access it. 